problem decanters, confused about your caviars? Have no fear. BBC Two knows a man who can help. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated. It is my pleasure to inform you that you have tuned in to another edition of Trade Secrets. Polishing a glass, always use a dry cloth rather than a damp one. A damp one can stick to the glass and it can break it. And by the way, use natural daylight because it's easy to see the smudges and the watermarks and it helps you getting it clean. Perfect. It's important to rotate your cutlery. So when you put your clean cutlery away, always put it to the bottom of the pile. This will ensure even wear and avoid using the same pieces time and time again. It's important to keep the car in pristine condition, but that includes the black rubber trim. What I tend to use for that is ordinary wood polish. Treat it as you would a pair of shoes. Apply the polish sparingly, not too much. Work it into the rubber polish off and if you end up with polish either on the chrome or the paintwork then clean it off with a duster it will come off quite easy and you'll end up with a pristine looking car. Drying the interior of a decanter can be a nightmare. Put on some rubber gloves, run the hot tap, Take your decanter and run the hot water on the base of the decanter and the heat will dry the inside of your decanter in a few seconds. There are many ways of drying decanters, but I use a hairdryer. It's important not to draw attention to oneself, so entering a room is an art form. The way to do this is to hold the latch open with one hand, transfer to the other hand, still keeping the latch open, close the door firmly and quietly, and then go about your duties. Carrying a tray can be difficult at the best of times. Rather than carry it in a normal fashion with thumbs on the top and causes the tray to tip if knocked or jarred, put your thumbs underneath, grip with the heel of the thumb. Much steadier, no spillage, no spoilage. A lot of people would chill a bottle of champagne either in the deep freeze or in a bucket full of ice cubes. In a deep freeze that is very dangerous because of the pressure in the bottle. If you try to put a bottle into a, uh, a bucket which is full of ice cubes, then it will only rest on the top and it won't chill. The ideal situation is to have a third water, a third ice cubes, and the remaining third will take the bottle, which will sink to the bottom and chill very, very quickly. When laying up the table, you start with the first course on the outside and work slowly through the courses, fish, main course, etc., in the order that you would eat the meal. It is also advisable to have a spare set of cutlery on the sideboard in case of mishaps. Now on occasion, you'll find that there are 13 people placed at table and 13 is an unlucky number. So why not add another chair and another guest to the table to solve that problem? and so that you have 14 instead of 13. When serving at table, one should avoid wearing a strong perfume or aftershave, as this will detract from the flavour of the food 
affect the bouquet of the wine and also bring attention to yourself. One of the ways to keep your silver clean, like this teapot, is to use the juice of a lemon. Rub the lemon onto the surface and polish off with a soft clean cloth using a bit of elbow grease. You can also use cotton buds to get into any awkward corners and places and also to clean the spout and this will help clean and maintain your silver in pristine condition. Accidents do happen as with glasses but with a pair of rubber gloves and some masking tape we can clear up the mess very quickly and very safely, like this. See, this will pick up all the smallest pieces of glass that are embedded into your carpet and also saving your vacuum cleaner from any damage. When pressing the silk tie, never press it from the front, otherwise you're in danger of leaving the seam mark on the front. Place the tie face down on the table, using a piece of cardboard at the centre, cover with a cloth, remove the cardboard, and there we have one perfectly pressed tie without leaving a mark. Do you have trouble telling your caviars apart, the difference between Ocietra and Beluga? A simple test is this. Place a little of each on a white piece of paper. Squash it. You will then find that the Ocietra is yellow and the Beluga is grey. The best way to eat caviar is to eat it off the back of the hand. Mmm, like right that, delicious. An even better way and more fun is to eat it off someone else's hand. Mm -hmm. Very nice. We tread a thin line between being respectful but never being subservient. We hear and see everything in the household. But everything we hear and see, of course, we don't always hear and see. It's extremely important that as a butler, you have loyalty, discretion and honesty.